guys, welcome to Easy Land. Today, I'm going to talk about how to install Homebrew on our new 3DS on firmware 11.17 with super scatter hacks. So this is only applicable to new models. If you're using old model, please look at the other tutorial that I have made. You can find it in the description box or you can click the button at your right top corner now. Now let's look at the things we need. The Super Skater Hacks is only compatible with new 3DS models and firmware 11.17 on the USA, European, Japanese, and Korean consoles. So obviously, we will need an applicable console. Second, we need a micro SD card. Third, we need a SD card reader. And fourth, we need a computer. First of all, we want to check our CFW. There are several things we need to check before modding the console. First, get into the system settings and look at the top screen. The letter at the end of the version number on the top screen refers to the region. Therefore, U refers to USA, E refers to Europe, J refers to Japan, and K refers to Korea. So that's about how we check the region of our consoles. Close the system setting. Turn off the console. Press and hold select button and press the power button. If the console boots into the standard home screen, it means your console is running the stock firmware and you can follow the rest of this guide. However, if you see the Lumen 3DS configuration screen, you may only need to do the finalizing step section at the end of this tutorial. Now turn off the console and remove the SD card from it. Next, let's prepare the files. There is a link to my Kofi page in the description box which directs you to the written guide and the files you need. Now open the Super Skater Hack zip, extract the files and folders to the SD card except the exploit folder. Then get into the exploit folder inside the zip. Select the folder that matches with your console's firmware and region. Then copy the files to the root of the SD card. Next, let's run the exploit. First, reinsert your SD card back to your console and turn it on. Then activate the camera by pressing the left and the right shoulder buttons. Then press the QR code button. There are two QR codes available. One is for US, Europe, and Japan region. One is for Korea. Please cover the unused code and point the console towards the QR code that matches with your console region. Press OK to launch the browser. If your camera doesn't work, please manually type in the URL. You can find the URLs in my written guide. Pick one of the search engines and press OK twice. Click the star icon on the bottom left of the screen. Then click bookmark this page. Press B button to go back. Then click the three lines icon on the bottom right of the screen. Select settings then click delete cookies and then click yes. Press the B button to go back then press home button and immediately reopen the browser. Click the Go Go tags. Press A button to continue. The process will take a while and the bottom screen will change in different colors, so please be patient. You should be able to run the homebrew launcher now. Click Names Facts. Now you should see the Safe B9S installer screen. Enter the key combos on the top screen to install the hacks. Press A button to continue. Then press the start button on the Luma 3DS configuration screen to go back to the home screen. Now let's finalize the setup. 
First, press L D-pad down and select button to open Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous option. Choose dump DSP firmware. Press B button to go back. Select nullify user time offset. Press B twice to go back to the main menu then select power off. Press A to power off. Press and hold the stop button together with the power button. Now we are in Godmon line. Please fix the RPC date and time if there is any prompt. Press the home button then select script. Select finalized script. Press A to continue. Press A again and then enter the combo keys to proceed. Press A to turn off the console. Now turn on the console again. Get into system settings. Select data management. Select Nintendo 3DS. Select software, reset it, and press OK. Click back three times to close the system settings. Turn off the console, then reopen Godmo 9 by pressing and holding the start button and the power button. Press the home button to choose script and then rerun the finalized script. Press A twice then enter the combo keys to continue. Press A to turn off the console. Remove the SD card from your console, then insert it to your PC. Create a new folder on your computer and name it anything you like. Get into the GM9 folder and enter the backup folder. Select all the files and copy to your new folder on your computer. Finally, reinsert your SD card into your console and then turn it on. Congratulations, you have finished modding your 3DS or your 2DS, and now you can unwrap all the new homebrew apps and enjoy your new life with your 3DS or 2DS. So that's pretty much about this video and I hope that you find it useful. There will be more 3DS tutorial as well as more PC handheld tutorials coming. Stay tuned and I will see you in my next video. Bye!